Hello everybody and welcome to Luxuriously Poor. And I hope today's recipe helps you in some way to be able to feed your family during the hard times we go through. Many times, God will give us the wisdom to know what to do. Now, I'm going to show you. My son bought me some half-gallon jars. He saw what I was doing with the eggs, and he said, if I kept going, I was going to end up with a 100 jars inside my refrigerator. So he bought me some half-gallon, and I pickled some more, and I made some bread because I'm down to my last two eggs, and I'm going to use those for today's recipe. Now, I've told you how I do this pickled egg recipe. Maybe you can go back. It's just half vinegar, half water, chili, and that's it. Now, here I put uh, onions and pickles. I put onions in the pickles this, this time. Uh, the last time I, I really didn't, I did some a little bit, but that, that jar there I did a lot more. And I want a little more heat to mine. I think it tastes better with, I just like heat, a little bit of heat with things. I'm not sure that the pickle is necessary. I've already eaten this, so I already know what it tastes like. It already has a tart taste, so I'm not sure that pickle is really necessary. Don't think mustard would be either, but that's completely up to you. Some celery might be good, but like I said, my celery was frozen. And so here's my last two eggs. One is in turmeric, but I didn't put turmeric this time because turmeric is something that can be on the expensive side. You may not always have it. And turmeric is better when you heat it and put it with black pepper. And, you know, hey, when it's hard times, turmeric is not necessary in eggs. Not this way. You can save your turmeric for other more important recipes that do need it, but this doesn't. Because there are recipes out there that do. Now, I like grating my eggs on a cheese grater. That's just me. I don't like them chopped or cut up fine. I like them grated. Uh, you cut them and chop them or do it any way that you want to. The important thing is, is to be able to use your eggs, even in sandwiches. N I mean, nothing easier than getting up in the morning and making yourself an egg salad sandwich on a piece of open-faced homemade bread. Absolutely delicious. It really, really is. And I'm not a pickled egg person. I really am not. But I do like them this way. And that's what's most important. Now here, I've got them. You see? That's my eggs all shredded up. And I'm going to definitely put some... I'm putting my onions and my pickles in there. But I'm also going to put a few spices. One of those spices is going to be black pepper. I like black pepper in my double eggs. I always have. Now, you may not, but I... I do, and I also like crushed chili peppers, and you'll see, you see how I'm, I'm using some black pepper in here? I just think it gives it a really good flavor, you know, you can add what you want to yours. Okay, now, I'm going to add some mayonnaise here. Costco had this jar, I want you to look at this thing, it's huge, it was this month's sale for six bucks. So I got me a jar of it because mayonnaise is outrageous. Now I'm going to mix this around in here. Let me put you down here for a minute and come back. Okay, I'm going to put in some red crushed chili peppers on the top of this. And I'm going to try to sprinkle just a touch of paprika. But sometimes the paprika comes gushing out and get way more than what you want and I just want a sprinkle just a touch see that there is my egg salad sandwich from pickled eggs oh at the price of eggs right now this is delicious <laughs> 